everyone welcome to the turning point in this session let us solve a problem on friction and the question is the given question is w1 is resting on an inclined plane and w2 is resting on a horizontal plane uh, they are connected to a pulley by means of a string like that so you are supposed to calculate alpha and it is mentioned that in a particular case w1 is equal to w2 and mu is the same for all contact surfaces so you are supposed to calculate alpha so what may be the problem the first thing you need to do is draw the free body diagram apply equations of equilibrium so and solve those so first if you observe these two blocks they are equal equal in magnitude suppose if two persons are there so one person is sitting on inclined plane and one person is on uh, horizontal plane so both are equal in weight so then which person will have tendency to move first the person which is on inclined plane right so for that reason so w1 will have tendency to move down first right so then w2 is going to move along left hand side direction first i will consider the free body diagram for block 1 w1 so when i want to consider the free body diagram so i need to remove all the contact surfaces i need to represent the block as it is so w1 is equal to w2 that is given there so i am considering with common letter w there so weight acts vertically downwards and normal reaction so as it is not able to move in this direction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface represent their normal reaction so it should be perpendicular to surface so perpendicular to surface represent the normal reaction it will have tendency to move in downward direction so in the opposite direction represent the frictional force f1 which is equal to mu n1 so it is mentioned that uh, mu is common for all surfaces that's why i consider with common letter mu not mu1 and along the string there will be tensile force right s here all the forces are either along the plane or perpendicular to plane except a w so find the angle with the w and resolve that one into two components so if i calculate the angle here this is the alpha here you can resolve this one into two components w cos alpha and this one is w sin alpha now apply the two equations sigma fx is equal to 0 sigma fy equal to 0 i am considering this one as x axis along the plane it is x axis perpendicular to plane it is y axis you can consider horizontal x axis or vertical y axis no problem there so i am considering sigma fy is equal to 0 the algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 so n1 acting along positive y direction w cos alpha acting along negative y direction minus w cos alpha no other force right so equal to 0 from that n1 is equal to w cos alpha so this is the relation i got for n1 next consider sigma fx is equal to 0 which is nothing but the algebraic sum of force components along x direction is equal to 0 along x direction the forces are s along positive x direction plus mu n1 so which is nothing but f1 that is also acting along positive x direction and w sin alpha acting along negative x direction so minus w sin alpha is equal to 0 from that s plus instead of n1 i can write w cos alpha minus w sin alpha is equal to 0 so i can uh, take uh, the remaining terms except place on to right hand side so that is w sin alpha minus mu into w cos alpha so take w common s is equal to w common sin alpha minus u cos alpha so consider this one as equation 1 so this is the equation i got when i consider the free body diagram for block 1 now i would like to consider the free body diagram for block 2 so i would like to uh, consider free body diagram for block 2 so i need to remove all the contact surfaces and i need to draw the uh, i need to represent the forces and reaction forces acting on it 
Let's do that. So I am erasing these things. So this is a block two. First thing you need to represent is the weight. Weight acts vertically downwards. W1 and W2 both are uh, considered with common letter W as they are equal. And next, uh, it is connected to a string. Along this string, there will be tensile force. It is not able to move in downward direction. In the opposite direction, represent the normal reaction. So when the block W1 is able to move down the plane. If the W2 is able to move along negative x direction, which is nothing but left hand side direction, in the opposite direction, represent the frictional force F2, which is nothing but mu and 2. Why? Because mu is common here. Mu is uh, same for all contact surfaces. So this is the free body diagram for block 2. Now applying the uh, equations of equilibrium sigma F by E is equal to 0 and to along positive y direction. W along NATO direction equal to 0. From that N2 is equal to W. This is the relation I got for W. Next consider sigma fx is equal to 0. So when I consider sigma fx is equal to 0, S along NATO x direction minus S, F2 along positive x direction which is nothing but mu N2, no other forces. So equal to 0. From this S is equal to mu n2. n2 means w. From that it is mu w. Earlier I got equation for S. Okay, this is equation 2. So now from 1 and 2 we can find the value of alpha. Let us solve that. From equation 1 and 2. So eliminating S. Uh, mu into sorry that is not mu first I will write this equation w into sin alpha minus mu cos alpha is equal to mu into w so w w gets cancelled I will arrange this one from that sin alpha is equal to mu plus mu cos alpha so this is sin alpha is equal to mu common 1 plus cos alpha here uh, you need to use uh, trigonometric relations you know the relation for sin 2 alpha which is nothing but 2 sin alpha cos alpha here there is sin alpha I can uh, write this one as 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 is equal to mu into 1 plus cos alpha is nothing but 2 cos square alpha by 2. Here, 1 cos alpha by 2 gets cancelled and 2, 2 gets cancelled. From that, sin alpha by 2 is equal to mu into cos alpha by 2. So, taking this cos onto this side, tan alpha by 2 is equal to mu. From that alpha by 2 is equal to tan inverse mu. Finally we need to find the angle alpha right. From that alpha equal to 2 tan inverse mu. This is the final solution. So you need to find the angle alpha. So whatever may be the problem I am adopting the same procedure for all the uh, friction problems. Draw the free body diagram. Apply equations of equilibrium and solve those equations. Hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching.